Welcome back guys, this is XNDR342 and we're back here with the second episode of Cooking Simulator Pizza DLC. In the last episode, we cooked a margarita pizza. It looked very, very good, very delicious. But now we're gonna continue here. Press T to continue. So let's see what we got to do. You've proved that you can prepare a proper Italian pizza. Now it's time to prepare your pizzeria for tomorrow. Let me show you how to prepare the dough, sauce and other ingredients. Don't have to rush, take your time, the preparation phase has no time limit, you decide when you when to finish and start the day. Let's start with preparing some Neapolitan style dough. The first step is to familiarize yourself with the recipe, launch the Pizza Pro app and find the recipe that we need. So tab to launch the phone and we launch the app, there it is, Neapolitan style dough and this is everything we need to make it. So. Here you'll find the list of necessary ingredients and their quantities uh, needed for the recipe. Now, clicking on the pin button will allow you to view the recipe while working on it. So I can pin it, there we go, press this to return back to main screen and let's go back for a moment to the Quest Villa app. Bring up the smartphone main screen once more and click on the app icon, don't worry the recipe will stay pinned. Alright so there, was, there it is. Quizville is an application dedicated, dedicated to elite world-class pizza yolos. Here, are, here you will find some challenges and tasks that will allow you to improve your skills and gain new abilities. So, completing these quests will grant you fame, respect, and skill certifications. For now, let's focus on the matters at hand. There are a few easier quests ahead of you, although, which I'll guide you. Prove yourself to be a diligent apprentice and I will grant you the title of Novice Pizzaolo and let you run this pizzeria by yourself. Additionally, by completing tasks from the app, you'll unlock new recipes and ingredients uh, so it's all worth the effort. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a key that describes the elements of the app. After you familiarize yourself with the app, press tab to put down the smartphone. Alright, seems uh, like we have some quests over there, rewards and stuff, prepare 300 grams of Neapolitan pizza dough. Alright, tab, there we go, and we gotta follow the green line. To start preparing the dough, you'll have to, to go to the pizzeria's back room, where you will find the necessary ingredients, tools, and stuff to do. So, this is a dough mixer, it's capable of preparing huge amounts of dough at once, usually preparing one or two batches, of dough made according to the recipe it will last you the entire day all right and uh, we gotta press T to continue before you turn on the machine though you must add the ingredients to the machines bowl let's start with flour you find your find the shelf behind you one bag should be enough all right so that's a flour we take it and then while holding the bag of flour click this to so how much flour do we need it doesn't say Oh, it does say 3.5 kilograms of flour. So, grams. We need like 3.5 kilograms. All right, we got three. Two, three, two, three, 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 we got 3.5 of that. Where can we put this? On the floor, I guess. And then we gotta add flour, 3.5. Before you turn on the machine, you must add the ingredients in the machine's bowl. Add to the bowl flour. I did. Did I not? Yeah, it says here, flour, 3.4 kilograms. And then water, 2.4 liters of water. Uh, I would say the sink, somehow. doesn't really tell me how to add water we cannot really take this thing we cannot take it so we gotta put water somehow okay I, tea. I did put the thing huh interesting it seems like um, 
We just got a container and add water in the container. And you cannot add water to the container, so... How exactly do we add water to that thing? It says you need- you have everything you need over here. Maybe I need to put more flour. Let's see. Let's put a bit more flour. There we go. Ah, there we go, there we go. I had to put exactly 3.5 kilograms of water, of um, this flour. So flour is a very important dough ingredient, but it's not the only one. You'll find the rest in the box. Buy them and add a proper amount to each into the bowl. So then we open this box and we add flour. You can buy flour, there we go. And we put it on the counter. Well, I don't know where to put it, so I'll just leave it over there. Then we need to add water or open the other box. All right, water. We need 2.4. Uh, we need water. Let's see. I don't have any container, anything to put the water in. We need salt, yeast anyway. We need by yeast and salt. Salt. Spices, salt, bye. Alright, we have, we have to add 125 grams of salt. So let's do that. One hundred twenty five grams of salt. Oh, oh, wow, okay. 25, ooh, I put a bit too much, does not matter. Put salt, I put salt, and then we need yeast, we need 10 grams of yeast. So let's go back over here and add that. Perfect, perfect. Alright, we need uh, 10 grams of yeast, so... Uh, 10 grams of yeast. Do you think that will do? This is yeast, right? This is flour. I don't need to add flour. I need yeast, 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 yeast. <laughs> oh, the butter thingy. Ah, I forgot about it. But I'll just buy another one. And I gotta add this butter in here. Just like that. And water. I need a bowl, I need a bowl. Uh, I need like a pan. Uh, I need a jug? Yes. Left handle is Q. I need, and then how much water do I need? 2.4 liter. Shit. 2.4 liter. So let's pour uh, 2.4 liter. 1.9. So I have 2.1 liter. I need 0.4 liter more. Let's go back here and add. Uh, Point four hundred, sorry, four hundred. That will do. Uh, and then four hundred goes in here. 
just like that. All right, that seems to be perfect. So now what we can do is turn on the machine. Click on the highlighted lever. Click on the lever. It closes up and uh, mixes, I guess. Press the green button on the left of the machine uh, to start. There we go, now it's doing it. Alright, let's just got sauce. The sauce recipes are located in the same path as the dough recipes, just not into the sauces that for now we'll focus on the classic marinara sauce, but this list will expand in the future. Alrighty, so we didn't finish this though, did we? I guess we did. There's the dough, right there. Now we need sauces, marinara sauce. So for the marinara sauce, we need San Marzano tomato. Uh, pin it. Sorry, I forgot to pin it. Not that one. I want to unpin that and I want to pin the marinara sauce. There we go. And, uh, and then follow the green line. Oh, I gotta go down now. All right, perfect. Uh, that's a basket. I need tomato. Oh, I guess I click the basket and then I gather ingredients. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So how many do I need? 1.6 kilograms. Uh, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Oh, it tells me right there how many I need. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Oh, it just tells me there. All right. 900 grams. And I'll just keep doing this until I have 1.6. There we go. And then we need garlic. We need 20 grams of garlic. 20. Perfect. And then I gotta follow the green line. Okay, we go back up. We gotta make sure that we don't spill the ingredients. Before you place the basket's content, contents in the cooking processor, make sure you have the right ingredients in the correct amounts. After you fill the cooking processor, you'll be able to remove the, anything from it. Alright, put down the basket and look at it. You should see a list of its contents. If you notice something that shouldn't be there, take it out. Alright. Put everything in the cooking processor. Notice that it all takes one click. All products will be transferred in the in the basket from the basket to the machine. So this is the cooking processor thing. So if we click on it, all the ingredients will go inside of the cooking processor. Just like that. And we can put the basket back down on the counter. Click on the thing. Uh, we need basil. So, how much basil do we need? Just one piece, I guess. One piece of basil, we put it in there. And we gotta add olive oil, salt, oregano dried. So I know that I already have the salt over here, so we need 35 grams of salt. So, 10, 20, and we need 35. So 32, 33, 34, 35. And then we need 200 milliliters of olive oil. So let's go and buy liquids, olive oil, buy. And then we need 200 ml of that. So let's put 200 ml of that in here. All right. All right, we have uh, almost 100 ml. There we go, 100 and 200. Whoa, 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 250. Okay, I put a little bit too much, but hopefully that is okay. And then we need oregano dried. I don't have oregano, so we need to buy it. Uh, spices, oregano dried, buy that. And we need to add 25 grams of oregano. So let's do that. 10. 20, 24, 25, just like that. 
Uh, and then before we begin preparing the sauce, you need to insert a GN container into the machine. Without it, the sauce won't be able to be poured into. So GN container does it not have a does it have a GN container thingy? I insert GN container. Except the dough misker, all the machines require an empty GN container to be inserted before they can be activated. Ah, this is a GN container. Oh, yeah, I get it now. Okay. Put the GN container in there. Press the green button to start it. So, green button. That is gonna start this thing. So, it says 4, 3, 2, 1. And sauce is finished, I guess. We won't need any recipes for now. You can unpin them the same way you have pinned them. So, let's go and unpin those things. Same with the dough. Unpin it. Alright, why is it still pinned? I said I'll oh, it. Press T to continue. Uh, the cooking processor will need some time to finish mixing the, up the sauce, so there's no point in standing idly by. Uh, pick up the basket and go back to the pantry. Alright, picking up the basket, and we are going back down. Whoa, that's kind of wild. Alright, back down we go into the cellar. All right, guys, we got all of our ingredients over here, sweet corn, all of those things that we need. And then we have to take out the GN container from the cooking processor. So let's make sure we do that. Ooh, that looks delicious. And then we go over here. What is this? Oh, on the other side. The sauce should be ready. Pick up the GN container, turn around, and show you a trick. See that handrail on the wall? Put, pull it on and see what happens. I'll just put it on there. I guess. Right? Let me see. Oh, it switches from side to side. That's pretty cool. Use it on an empty shelf to insert the container. I uh, already did. I already put it in there. What do you mean? Uh, I already put the container in there. Let's put another container just for the sake of it. Alright, let's go back over here. For the sake of it, let's put a container in one of those empty things. Yeah, already it's already there. E to pick up. Put it back down. Let's get back to the ingredients. Alright, and then what do we do? Use this in an empty shelf slot to insert the container. That's an empty shelf slot. Perfect. Pick up the salami. 300 grams uh, salami was right in here. Somewhere. Nope, not this one. Mr. Salami, I cannot pick it up. There we go. Not that. All right, let's put this down. Put it down in there. Pick up the salami. Perfect. And then insert the salami into the automatic cutter. So guys, this thing is the automatic cutter. We put it in there. And then uh, we need another container. So we put the container in there, just like that. We press the green button, and then it should slice it. And then we pick up the mozzarella. Uh, not the whole basket, just the mozzarella. Yes. All right, and insert the mozzarella into the electric grater. So that's an electric grater, right in there. And we put another GN container in here, just like that, we start to do that. Insert the GN container with salami into the GN container shelf. Insert the GN container. Alright, so we take this GN container over here. We put it on here. Just like that. And we put the other one, the other container, 
on the other side over there, just like that. Pick up one white onion. All right. Insert the onion into the automatic cutter, just like that. Pick up the basket with the ingredients. And then while holding the basket, press on the automatic cutter. I am pressing on it. All right. Leave the basket over there. We got an empty one over here. So let's pick up that one and put it over here. And then press the green button. There we go. And then it starts doing place an empty GN container in the highlighted spot. I did. And there we go. Uh, for th That's for that. Put it on there and then uh, we need another G another container. Let's go back over here and pick up another container, just like this. All right, and we gotta put it in the spot that it tells us, just like that. And we gotta pick up the sweet can of can of corn. All right, it pours all the corn on the thingy, and then on the container shelf. Just like that. Perfect. And then, after that, we need to hover, hover over the jar of black olives. Uh, press, uh, whichever, whenever you hover over an ingredient, you'll see icons representing uh, the processing methods under its name. If the icon is not grayed out, the ingredient can be used in this way. So... Alright, it can be used in all of those ways indicated. From left to right, the icons represent dough mixer, a cooking processor, electric grater, automatic cutter, and GN container. The last icon means that the ingredient can be stored directly into the GN container without the need for any further processing. If that's clear, if you would like to have those black ol olives cut, insert the GN container with the 500 grams of black olives into the... So... Uh... Pick up? We cannot pick it up. How come? Alright, perfect. Pick it up, and uh, I guess we put it on in here, automatic cutter. Just like that. Perfect. And we put another container. I'm kind of here running out of containers. But I'll probably have to buy more containers, I guess. So we put this under here. Just like that. Press the green button. That will cut it. And then we put it on the, on the shelf. Just like that. There we go. Th those are the olives. Alright. And then... And then we pick up a dough tray, all right, with this. Pick up the dough tray and then follow the green line. <gasps> we don't want to do that, okay. We put it right there. Since you're already here, pull the GN container shelf back into the yellow room. All right, so we pull this back over here that's everything we can call it a day to finish a preparation phase head back to the blue room and use this on the clock there all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed us preparing these sauces and the dough over here in the next e in the next episode we will make another pizza so yeah guys hope you guys liked it smash the like button if you're new subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye